I'm studying a line that's called weighted stainless steel, and it's made by torpedo divers, and it's becoming very popular here in the Great Lakes. Um, these heavy sinking lines, some people use braided copper as well, um, help fish at great depths. And the way we fish these is just like we do with lead core. We use a segment. In other words, we pick a length of line, put a leader on it, and backing on it, and away we go. And in this case, this is 300 feet. It's going to fish me down about 65 to 70 feet. And, uh, and that's a very effective setup here that we have. We can put this on a planer board and send it out to the side so we can cover a little bit more water. The reason we like weighted steel over copper lines is because copper tends to snarl and backlash very easily. And if it gets a tangle in it, you just can't untangle it. Um, this weighted stainless steel stuff is really user friendly, doesn't snarl, uh, doesn't backlash at all. And so it's just a lot simpler to operate, especially on a day like today when it's very bumpy out here. And tangles are something we just don't want to deal with today. All right, well, we're going to set up a weighted steel line here. We've got our leader out, we've got our lure out, we've got all of the steel, in this case 300 feet, and now we're into the braid backing. It's time to hook it up on the board. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the line and I'm going to wrap it around this rubber plunger about three times. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and close the plunger. Then I'm going to go to the back of the board here and I'm going to put the line in the snapper in the back of the board and I'm going to close it. And then I'm going to bring just a little bit of slack line in here. I'm going to slide it just a little bit to give a little bit of slack line there. So if I want the tail flag to work, the tail flag will work as well. Drop it in the water, send it out to the side. That's how we fish the weighted steel on the OR-12.